welcome to channel Madam Wan. Today we will discuss soft problems involving system of linear inequalities in two variables. Let us look at example 14. Madam Carol needs to select at most 20 pupils for a choir competition. The number of girls is at least twice the number of boys. A. Write two linear inequalities other than S greater or equal to 0 and Y greater or equal to 0, which represent the conditions of the selection of the competitors. Let S equal to number of girls and Y equal to number of boys. For first linear inequality, we look at the keyword here at most. At most means maximum, cannot more than. So, the symbol is like this, less or equal to. Now we have S equal to number of girl and Y equal to number of boy. So, the linear inequalities is S plus Y less or equals to 20. Less inequalities is this one. The number of girls at least twice the number of boys. So the linear inequalities is S greater or equal to 2Y. We can write it as 2Y less or equal to S. Why I should make Y the subject of the formula? I make Y the subject of the formula so that the region can be marked correctly. B. Draw and share the region that satisfies the above system of linear inequalities. So before we draw and share the region, first we need to write two linear equations. Based on the answer A here, we write two linear equation. First is S plus Y equals 20. And another equation is 2Y equals S. After that, you draw a simple table like this. The minimum value of S is 0. And from the question, Maximum is 20 pupils, so I put as maximum 20. Okay. Now we use these equations to find the value of y. When s equal to 0, 0 plus y equals 20, y equals 20. When s equal to 20, 20 plus y equals 20 y equals 0. The next table here, we use equation 2y equals s. When s equals 0, 2y equals 0. y equals 0 also. When s equal to 20, 2y equals 20, y equals 10. After we complete these two tables, now we try to draw a graph on grid paper. For S axis, value start from 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20. For Y axis, also we start with 0, 5, 10, 15 and 20. Okay, now we start to draw the straight line S plus Y equals 20. So we plot the points first. 0, 20. The coordinate is 0, 20. So this is the point. The next coordinate is S20, Y, 0. So it's here. So use ruler to 
draw a straight line pass through these two points. The next equation coordinate is 0, 0. Second coordinate, 20, 10. Okay, draw a straight line, pass through these two points also. And don't forget, label the equation on each straight line. Now, we need to share the region that satisfies the above system of linear inequalities. So we refer to these inequalities to share the region. So S plus Y less or equals 20. So less or equals means we need to share the region below the straight line here. Okay, 2y less or equal to s. So also the region below the straight line. And don't forget here, we have also S greater or equals to 0. So S equals to 0 is Y S is, you learned before. So greater or equals to 0, so means is right hand side here. And Another is y greater or equals 0. So here, as s is uh, the equation is y equal to 0. So the region greater is above the straight line. Okay, so you need to determine which region that satisfies all these four linear inequalities. So, we found that the answer is in this triangle because here we have four colors, include the Greek colors here. Okay, so I shared it. Okay, this part. Okay, so we complete the part B. Now we answer C from the graph. Determine the minimum and maximum number of girls when the number of boys is 5. So, you know the y axis is for the number of boys. So, when y equals 5, you put your ruler here, you draw a dotted line. Okay, after that, you check y equal to 5, you can see s equal to 10. And another value is here, s equal to 15. So minimum value is 10 and maximum value is 15. F, the value S equal to 10 girls for minimum value and S equal to 15 girls for maximum value. C2. Determine whether the conditions of the selection are adhered to if at boys want to participate in the choir competition. Justi justify your answer. So based on the diagram here, value of y equal to add is outside the shaded region. So the answer is no because the value of y equals add outside the shaded region. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.